Hi everyone, I'm Janet Amond. I am the manager of the Smyrna Outdoor Adventure Center and we want to give you an update as to where things stand right now. We are getting very, very close. We are here at the outside. As you can see, the outside is complete. So what we want to do now is we want to go inside and let you take a look at where we are in there and you can see just how close we are. So come on in. Okay, so as we come in, this is the first thing that people will see when they step into the Outdoor Adventure Center. This is our lobby. This very colorful area here is, is, this is our waiting area. So if we do have a lot of people, we will have a line that will form here. But if you get on this side of the line, you'll be able to sit in a little bit of comfort while you wait your turn to check in. But this is an idea of some of the things that the Outdoor Adventure Center and Smyrna Parks will be offering uh, as a result of this endeavor. So we'll have a lot of things, you know, we've got the, the pool in the back, we're gonna be uh, coordinating our programming with the activities that we have in the Outdoor Adventure Center. Uh, so this just gives people an idea of what they can expect when they do come to visit the facility. And then we'll move on in and we'll show you the rest of it. So we'll come on through the lobby and this is where people will come to check in. So you obviously will have your check-in desk. We do have a little bit of a retail area if you would like to purchase some shirts or some souvenirs as takeaways. And then if you remember from before, we have our exhibit hall. Now the outside looks complete. Once you get in here, you can see that we're not, we're not exactly ready yet, but we are getting close. This is our first exhibit. Uh, so you'll have a chance to see what that looks like when you do come and visit us at our grand opening or shortly thereafter. You may remember that this was a fitness center before. So we've taken the floor of the racquetball court that used to be here and we've put it on the wall uh, just as a remembrance and also because it's something that lends a little bit of uniqueness to the place. As we come on in, we've got our exhibit everywhere right now because it's gonna be a large exhibit, but our gallery area, we did the same thing with that floor in the racquetball court and also in our aerobic studio. So we will have our cultural pieces here, our art, our, our history uh, will, be, will be in the gallery area. And then we move on through into our lecture hall. So if you have, um, if you work for a company that is looking for a place to have meetings or might have a seminar or a speaker, this will be a great place to do that. So we will have that available as well. But we're, we're coming along, we're not there yet, but we're, we're almost there. So let's go take a look in the back of the building and see what's back there. So what I wanna show you is our program room, which we are calling the Discovery Den. It actually won't be open all of the time unless you are participating in a program that is being put on by Smyrna Parks or by the Smyrna Outdoor Adventure Center. So I definitely want to show you one of the really, really neat things in this building. That's this mural that was done by the Smyrna Artist Cooperative. Uh, in conjunction with Carpe Artista, a local artist group here in Smyrna. They were very, very generous with their time and with their talents in doing this mural for us. And one of the really neat things about it is that if you take enough time and look at this gorgeous mural, you will be able to see a lot of different things. And that's one of the reasons why we did it this way is because we want it to be an interactive type of activity for children when they're in here as well. So if we ask them to spot the bluebird or can you find the rabbit, then that gives them something to do also while they're in here doing programs. As you can see again, uh, we are still not ready to be open for the public yet, but we are, we are getting there. But I definitely wanted to show you this, and now we'll head on to the real draw of the place, which is our adventure zone. So we'll go over there next. So this is adventure zone number one. This is the one for, uh, for older people, I would say, eight and up. This is the actual climbing wall. And the word that comes to mind for me <laughs> is rainbow. We've got a lot of color in this room. We have stations for 10 people to climb at a time. So we actually will we'll rotate people in and out, but there are different degrees of difficulty. There are several different types of structures on which to climb as well. So we are very excited about this. I know you are too. I've had a lot of questions about when are the climbing rooms gonna be open. Uh, so we, we can't wait to get this going. It does look like it's ready. We still have some things that we need to do. So we're not quite ready yet, but we are getting there. 
So this is adventure room number two. This is the one for the younger people. And we still have a lot to do in here. We have several elements that we are still going to put on the walls for people to do uh, and possibly in the floor as well. But this gives you an idea of what's gonna happen in this room. Children will climb up this climbing tower. They'll be able to run around on the net and have a good time up there. And then they slide down the slide to get down. So this is gonna be a very popular place for the younger crowd as well. So this is gonna be actually another big draw of the Outdoor Adventure Center. These are our two party rooms. So people will be able to come in and rent these for whatever event you have, birthday parties, anniversaries, whatever your big celebration is, you will be able to rent one or both of these rooms. So they will be here and available for you. So that's another quick look at where we are with the project right now. I know you're very interested in seeing what's going on with the pool area, so I'm gonna let Kirsten show you that. We'll hope to see you soon. Hi, I'm Kirsten with Smyrna Parks and Recreation here to show you our new Splashtown facility. Um, we've done a lot of work the last time we did our update. Um, as you can tell, things have been put together and there is water in all of the pools. So we have our gatehouse structure, which is completed, which is where you will come in and pay um, it, there's a new parking lot right outside of it as well. We have our volleyball facility, um, which we plan on doing all kinds of fun activities in volleyball over there, doing some leagues. Got new sand in it. Our splash pad area, um, which I am at right now. We have all these cool little play features with turtles and fish and crabs. We also have a zero depth entry to the kitty area with a slide and all kinds of little water cannons and sea serpents over there as well. Over behind me, we have the new pool. The pool features a new drop slide, which is the red slide, as well as our Kerslash Aqua Climb um, over in the deep end. And then the shallow end has grown significantly, not as much deep end. The deep end goes to eight feet. We also have our current channel, which is three foot deep. Um, as you can see there, it goes in a circle. There is a play feature over there. It squirts out water onto people who are in the current channel. And there's also some bench seating on the inside of that as well. One of our biggest features here at Splashtown is our brand new slides. We have the blue and yellow slides. Um, over there as well, look like lots of fun. They fall out into their own self, so they don't go into a pool of water. So they're fun for all ages, as long as you meet the height requirements. We also have our ginormous blue funbrellas, which are located at the front next to the gatehouse. These will be available for renting out during the daytime, as well as to open just for first come, first serve.